Hi everybody, welcome to Yoga with Alex. Today, we are going to do a few postures that will target your waistline. Make sure your toes and your heels are touching together side by side. Bring your arms over the head and now spring your body to the right and the left. Warm up a little bit. You should feel stretching down both sides of your body. Nice and tight grip. Interlock your 10 fingers and release your index fingers. Now slowly bend your body to the right side in an absolutely straight line. Keep your elbows locked and your arms touching with your ears. Focus one point in the mirror in front of you. Keep your eyes open. Use your nose to breathe. Very slow, very calm, continuously while you push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Right now, you should feel tremendous stretching down the left side of your body, all over inside out. Very good for stretching out and leaning out your waistline. And it's also very good to cure and uh, heal a lot of back pain and stuff because if the front side is tight, it's going to make the back side tight. Keep your smiling, happy face just like me and keep breathing and stretching continuously. You want to hold it longer to create a deeper, deeper feeling all over in the body. It feels very good right now. You're opening up the whole left side of your spine. There's a fresh oxygenated blood rushing into your body right now and come back up to the center. Now push your hips forward, take a deep breath, stretch up and now very slowly bend to the left side. Good. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're creating a deep, tremendous stretching feeling down the right side of your body right now. Continuously keep breathing Keep your grip tight. Look in the front mirror and make sure your hands palms are still touching each other so there's no gap in between your hands palms. Focus on one spot in the front mirror. Keep your eyes open. Use your nose to breathe. Inhale and exhale very slowly and calmly. Come down a little bit further and stretch, creating tremendous stretching down, feeling down the right side of your body all over, inside out. Continuously keep stretching. Don't give up. Stay down there. Keep stretching. Try to push your right hip forward more to keep your two hips in one line. Some full cup, turn like a jaw box to hang in, slow, Make sure how you keep your five gang, they send the body a little check in. Okay, come back up. Now I'm going to turn to the side, but you just take a deep breath. Now drop your head back as far back as possible, and arms back. Look back. Go back. Way back. Keep going back. Slowly inhale and exhale through your nose. Now slowly come up. Good. That was a backward bend. Slowly bend your body front side. Put your hands on the floor and move your hips right and left several times. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You're warming up your spine from the back side to the front side. Now grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Make sure your two little baby fingers are touching together side by side. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscle. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on the legs below the knees. So from the side right now, your body looks like mine. There's no gap in between the body and the legs. Nice and tight grip, everybody. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your body down from the lower spine all the way towards the floor. Continuously keep that body touching with your legs. It doesn't matter if your legs are straight. You want to keep that contact. So you see, sometimes I come out, it's not so very good form. But right now, you want to focus on the form. So if it's tight in the beginning, just make sure your body is touching your thighs. 头起贴大背，心口贴住膝头哥，个头放松，块面贴住小腿骨。Absolutely straight line. You want to try to push your legs back at the end and lock your knees. Continuously keep pulling. Now very slowly, arms straight, and bring your body back up. Bring your arms down by your side, and keep breathing. Okay, next we're gonna do the very famous plank position. This posture is very good for your mind-body connection right now. You are gonna start to feel what is your abs. You're gonna start to engage them. So spread your five fingertips out on the floor. Like me, you can keep your feet together and be on your toes. Otherwise, if you find it easier to keep your feet separated, that's okay too. You can see that my hips are a little bit rounded, my back's a little bit rounded. Right now, I'm trying to really focus and isolate on my abdominal muscles. Start to bring your mind-body connection together. Continuously keep breathing through your nose. 
and really tighten up your abdominal muscles. Good for your hip line, good for your abdominal muscles, making you look gorgeous and beautiful. Keep breathing, hold it there. Hold it there, you can try to play around with the angle, try to feel out what is gonna isolate it more. Okay, let's go to the side. Next, we're gonna do side plank, left elbow down. Bring your feet together side by side, right leg on top of the left, and stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Right now, try to isolate the left side of your abdominal muscles, your oblique muscles. Tapin kodi fokei. Okay, tau mong tin fa ban. Jun ne go yao sao hang shang san zek. Tong si gan, jun ne go jo bin ge fok ge sao gan, sao gan, sao gan. Yong bei fuk up, change. Okay, right side. Right arm down. Left leg on top of the right leg. Stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. You gotta move quick. You gotta move quick just like me. Fai di, fai di, fai di, get into the posture. Get into it and start to feel your stomach. See if you can suck your stomach in, squeeze your butt tight. Try to lift your hips up higher towards the ceiling. Left hip higher, more towards the ceiling. Stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. Keep that right arm firmly planted on the floor the whole time. And keep breathing. Change, okay, next posture. Now we're gonna stretch out our back and our spine in the cobra pose. Hands on the floor. Now look up towards the ceiling, look back. Slowly come back up, downward dog. Stretch out your spine and your legs. Spread your 10 fingertips apart and push your hands on the floor. At the same time, try to bring your hips back, right leg forward. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Look up, slowly go back. Keep your right foot planted, slowly come out and change. Downward dog, plank. Chaturanga, Cobra Pose. Look up, all the while breathing. Left leg forward. Now slowly stretch your arms up and look back, everybody. Try to keep your right toes pointed. Look back, try to feel your whole spine stretching right now. Really, we're trying to elongate our stomach right now when you do those pose. Now slowly come up. And observe when you do the chaturanga push-up, just like when you did the plank, keep those abdominal muscles squeezing tight. Right leg forward, arms up. We're gonna do this a couple times and flow a bit. All the while breathing. Try to keep your body long, but with the good strength. If you need to move a little bit slowly, that's okay. Just keep on doing, we're gonna do it a few more times. Look back all the while synchronizing your body movements with your breath. The most important thing right now is you're connecting with your breath and your breath with your body. Okay, bring your elbows on the floor, right leg down, stretch out, downward dog. Slowly bring your left leg forward, bring your elbows down to the floor and bring your left knee out to the side. Try to see if you can stretch out your left hip, your butt muscles, everything. Right leg forward, now. Make sure your two heels are in one line for this triangle pose. Bring your right hand onto your right leg. Now stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. Stretch your, bring your chin to your left shoulder. Try to bring your profile of the face visible to the front mirror or the wall in front of you and look up. Really try again to feel out your hips and your stomach in, stomach in, stomach in. Suck your stomach in. Learn how to contract your abdominal muscles and at the same time, this is a very good stretch for your legs. And breathing. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Ga yao wa ga yao. Now look up towards the ceiling. Bring your right shoulder, chin to your right shoulder, left hand on your left leg. Remember, really try to connect. Mind body connection right now with your stomach. So you body sense
Okay, feet together side by side. Next, we're gonna do some twisting postures. 啲扭嗰啲動作咧，就會將你所有肚臍啊、腰啊嗰啲脂肪就扭曬、扭曬佢哋出嚟。So bring your hands together in the center of your chest. Turn to your right side, left elbow on your right knee, and twist. 如果你發覺係好難平衡，你可以將你個頭望住地下，但係個上半身依然係扭緊向上嘅。誒、呃、跟住，如果呢個太容易咧，你就可以將雙手打開，右手向上，左手向下，左邊，右手可以嘗試掂地下好近你個腳趾嘅位置，但係同時間唔好放棄你依家肚臍嗰個力度。收腹，深呼吸，将你个左手向上伸直，好住，好住。Suck your stomach in, keep going. Okay, change. Slowly come back up. All these movements, moving with your breath as we transition from posture to posture. Okay, separate your legs apart. Bring your left leg forward. And now come up onto your right toes. We're going to do a twisting, but with the legs separated position. So the same thing, hands together in front of your chest. Now bring your right elbow to your left knee. Remember, look down towards the floor if you're having trouble balancing. But if you can, look slowly. Turn your head to the left shoulder and look up towards the ceiling. But it's very okay to just hold in the first part. Hold your posture with intensity, but intention and mindfulness. This is your most important discipline while you're doing yoga. You have to do everything very beautifully, carefully, with detail. Okay, hands together, left side. Change. Do the other side. Bring your left elbow to your right knee, and you can come up on your left toes a little bit. Really, once again, we are targeting your waist, your stomach. So same thing. These postures have a lot of benefits, but right now, when you really focus on your stomach, you are going to get the results that you want. Very lean, very toned waistline, stomach line. Change. Okay, let's keep moving. Keep moving, everybody. Downward dog. Stretch out a little bit. Plank pose, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Stretch out. Now, slowly, bring your left leg in. Left toes touching with your hips, and bring your right leg over your left knee. Make sure your right heel is touching your left knee. And then your left hand is grabbing your left knee over your right leg. It's very complicated, so keep going. Don't give up. Now, put your hand on the floor, right hand on the floor, and slowly look over your right shoulder. Really, once again, we are focusing on your stomach. Suck your stomach in, and turn and twist over to the right side. We're going to hold longer this one. If you feel comfortable, bring your right hand around your back and twist. Turn and twist with your breathing normal, slow, calm, deep breathing. When you twist, you're going to find that your left arm is going to slip. So if you see me, I always have to make, look down really quick, but make sure my form is good. It's a very difficult posture to do. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Turn and twist, everyone. Turn and twist. Okay, change. Let's do the other side. So bring your right leg in. Left leg over the right knee. Make sure your right leg heel is touching close with your body. Now bring your right arm over and grab your right knee. Turn and twist to the left side. Suck your stomach in. Suck your stomach in. Suck your stomach in. Suck your stomach in. Take a deep breath. Inhale, and on the exhale, keep turning and twisting. Bring your left hand around your back, everyone. Turn and twist. Turn and twist. Don't give up. Keep twisting. Go, everybody! Twist and twist. Keep going. Twist, twist, twist. Keep going. Twist. Suck your stomach in. Check your arms again. You see my knee coming out. That's not good form. So I have to yell at myself. I'm doing the di dialogue right now, though. Keep twisting, everyone. Keep your knee down. Make sure the heel, knee, hand still touching everything. Three things on the floor. Suck your stomach in. Keep going. 
One minute we're holding both sides just now on this side. Seems like forever. Good for you if it's hard. Oh, you see, I'm sweating already. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Plank pose. Now, oh, now we're really gonna do more abdominal work. Slowly bring your one leg at a time. Touch your elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Don't go fast. Go slow. But remember, holding that position like the plank the first time we did it. Feeling your abdominals engaged, the hips a little bit rounded forward a little bit. So you really keep them really isolated. Keep your arms nice and strong. This is good for your abdominal muscles. 同時間都會幫你通你個三頭肌。Okay, downward dog a little bit, stretch out. Chaturanga, upper facing dog. Breathe, stretch out, really lengthen, 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 keeping everything long. Okay, now we're gonna slowly cool down a little bit with some cat and cow. Round your spine, head down, and then slowly look up and stick your butt out. So your whole spine right now, from the bottom to the top, the coccyx up towards your neck, is rounding and then arching. Really. Promoting the good blood circulation flow all over your spine and your body right now. Synchronize it with your breathing. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more、uh, abdominal core work, but holding it with stability. Left leg out. Bring your right arm forward. Change right leg back. Left arm forward. Keep your head up. Look forward. And stretch your right leg back, and stretch your left arm forward in opposite directions while balancing at the same time. We're gonna do it again. Right arm forward, left leg back. Feel your core. Try to feel your body, what it's feeling. Regain control of how your body moves right now with your good mindfulness and your breathing, your connection. Hold it here. We're gonna hold it a little bit longer this time. Keep breathing. Always come back to your breathing when you find it's difficult. First thing you have to return to the breathing. Right leg back, left arm forward. Stretch your body apart in opposite directions. At the same time, with your left leg on the floor, right arm on the floor, find your balance. Don't neglect or forget how they are also using a lot of strength. It's a good yin yang. This posture. To find the good balance on the left and right side, inhale and exhale and stretch. Right leg back, stretch, stretch. Everybody, keep stretching. Suck your stomach and stretch. Okay, change. Okay. Hope you're sweating like me. Now, twist a little bit to the left side with your legs straight. Right arm up behind you. Left hand down. Twist a little bit more, just to relieve a little bit tension. Maybe that was built. Feels good this posture. A little bit, nice and loose. Okay, we're gonna do some little tabletop. Fingers facing back, head back. Keep your legs together. Point your toes. Lift your hips up. Try to keep your body in a straight line. But remember, most important thing right now is focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale through the nose, and keep your body, legs stretching forward. You might feel a little bit stretching in your shoulders. Okay, turn your hands, fingers facing forward, and same thing. Repeat. Look back. Keep your body straight line. Good. Almost towards the end. A little downward dog right now. Right leg back. Wild thing. Bring the right leg over your left leg. Point your left toe. Come up on your right toe. This one is so good for your hips. You're gonna feel. Whole body stretching right now from your left leg all the way towards your arm, and change to the other side. Bring your left leg up, back behind you. Find the floor. Bring your left arm back. Stretch up. Look up. Do a little bit backward bend, but keep your right leg toe pointed, left toes on the floor, heel off the floor, and stretch your whole body. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna do a couple bhakti breathing in Vajrasana. Sit down Japanese style. And then bring your hands together and exhale.
Okay, that's it. Good job. Lie down. Final savasana. Arms down, legs down. Heels together, toes out. Palms facing up. Focus one spot on the ceiling. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Okay, that's it. Good job, everyone.